What does improvement as tarot card readers look like? Hi, my name is Akshaya Kavle. I'm a nature and animal communicator, which means I can speak to plants, animals and other species and have two-way conversations with them. I've also been a tarot card reader for the past 12 years and now I integrate both these modalities to help me better connect with animals and nature around me. In one of the previous videos, we discussed a few pointers that show what improvement in our communication journey looks like. In this video, I'm going to share with you what happens when we get better and more efficient in our tarot card reading journey. So let's go. The first thing is that we get comfortable with the cards, not just at reading them, but just at interacting with them, holding them, shuffling them. There is no more stress about handling those cards. I've seen this with myself that when I started tarot card reading years ago, I used to find myself fiddling with the cards, thinking about dropping them and being scared of it. Or even while shuffling it, the cards drop out, I would get really stressed out and I would wonder what meaning it has, so on and so forth. As I started working with my cards closely, I realized the close relationship I have with my cards and I realized that some things you don't need to worry about. It's okay if a card falls out, it's okay if you're not able to hold those cards properly in your hands and you learn ways to actually deal with it better. So the first thing I realized is my comfort level with my cards has grown exponentially over the years as I have learned to get better with my readings as well. The second thing is clarity of asking questions. Asking questions is extremely important even in tarot card readings because the more specific questions you ask your cards, the more specific answers you are bound to receive. If we ask generic questions, we are bound to receive generic answers as well. So when I have a question to ask my cards or when a client has, has a question to ask, I will make sure that I, would, I will try to get as specific as possible to help myself or my client in their journey or in their reading as well. So as you practice, you learn the importance of specific questions and automatically once you hear someone speak to you, ask for guidance or once you have a question, you try to narrow it down to as specific as you can be so that you can get a more specific answer to your question as well. The third point is being open to the messages that the tarot cards want to share with us. Remember I told you in the first point that the comfort level with the tarot cards increases as we get better. Now this comfort also extends to our relationship when it comes to actually reading the cards. As we start practicing and start getting better with our readings, we realize that we don't even really need to remember the meaning of the specific card. As soon as we draw out the cards, the card starts speaking to us and we start understanding what the card wants to share with us in that specific situation and in the specific question that we have asked the card as well. Sometimes it may also so happen that you may completely deviate from the textbook meaning of the card and understand the meaning that the card is trying to tell us in that specific situation as well. While initially we may have inhibitions in accepting the meaning that the cards are telling us which are deviated from the textbook meaning, with time and with practice we learn to acknowledge and accept that the cards and we have a very special relationship and hence the cards may have to say something beyond what we have already learned or read in a textbook. The fourth change that you will see in your tarot card reading journey as you get better with your tarot cards is not being scared of certain cards or feeling uncomfortable reading certain cards. Now these cards could be the reverse cards or the typically negative or intense cards that we see in tarot. As we share a close relationship with our cards, we learn to understand that each and every card in the deck has a lot to share and we can't really call it a negative or a positive card. Yes, there are certain intense cards. However, there is a lesson to learn there and it can be taken in a beautiful perspective and learned from a beautiful perspective as well. Let me give you an example. Usually the tower or the devil are considered to be negative cards. Again, I personally don't look at them as negatives, but they are generally considered as intense or negative cards. However, as you learn to 
work with your tarot cards closely you realize that certain times these become very important cards to help us restructure our entire belief system and start fresh for example the tower that is what it means or in case of the devil, it makes us understand that there are external forces which are influencing us and maybe it's time to let go of these external forces and take control and charge of our own life. So as you get comfortable with your cards, you'll see the fear of these cards reduce and you become completely open and comfortable with everything and anything the cards want to share with you. And the next thing that will happen as you learn to get better with your tarot card journey is that you may even know the cards that are going to come up. Yes, a lot of times you ask the question to the cards and while you are shuffling the card, you know what cards are going to come up. And the minute you lay down the cards, the cards that you have thought about are actually the cards that you have picked out as well. This is something that happens in time and it's, it may not happen to everyone but a lot of times tarot card readers who have been doing it for many many years and, are ha and have a very close relationship with their cards can actually learn to do mental tarot card reading which means that they may not necessarily need their cards with them but just think about the questions and the cards will start popping up in their mind as answers. Now again this has been my personal experience and it may not align to everyone watching this video but I just thought it'd be interesting to share a few things that I have experienced in my journey and realized how I have gotten better from where I began 12 years ago to where I am right now. I also acknowledge the fact that I have a long way to go and tarot cards are just such huge, they have so much knowledge and such abundance of knowledge that one may never know everything but you will definitely see a change in the way you interact with cards as well as you will understand that you have gotten better. I hope you enjoyed watching this video and found it helpful. If you did, don't forget to comment in the comment section below and share the changes that you have experienced in your tarot card journey as well. Until the next video, bye-bye.